Hi, it's Amy Kanarek back to show you a six strand round challah, which would be great for Rosh Hashanah uh, or for other major chagim when you might want a round challah. Okay, so I have created six fairly equal strands of dough. Um, they're a little bit heavier in the center and they taper out a bit on the edges. I've grouped three of them together. Actually, they feel a little tacky, so I'm going to take just a little bit of flour. And again, I do this after they're rolled out um, to give definition to the strands in the braid. If I put flour on my board before the the strands are rolled out, it's going to make it difficult for me to roll them. So if I need to do that, I should be very, very sparing about it. These rolled out just fine, but they feel a little bit like they're gonna stick together when I braid them. So to avoid that, I use just a little bit of flour on my hands and on the board to rub on the strands to keep them from being too sticky. I need just a drop more. very light sprinkling of flour. Put the extra there if I need it. Okay. So now I've got three strands here in the center and I'm going to weave these other three strands into them in sort of a square basket weave. So here's what I do. I take one strand and I'm gonna go straight across, trying to get it as even as I can. That seems like the middle, more or less. Um, and But I want it to weave into these three. So I'm gonna pull this one out and put it on top. So now it's going over, under, over. Now I'm gonna take these other two and do the same thing. Get a little flower on there. But this time, I'm going to do the opposite, a basket weave. So this one's over. I'm going to go, the middle one was over that one. I'm going to go under it. Go over this one and under the third one. So the, this, this strand is going under, over, under. And this one is going over, under, over. So the third one on this side is going to do what this top one is doing. So it's going to go under, over, under. Can you see how I've created a basket weave sort of in the center? And I'm trying to get these strands kind of as close together in the center as I can. And now I'm gonna take the three strands on each edge and do a three, um, a three, a, just a regular three strand braid. But if I go over for this first strand, it's not gonna be as pretty as if I go under to get to the right. And this one's gonna go, let me show you why. Take a look at this. If I go over, I'm sort of missing, missing the point. If I go under, it creates an intersection, a, a, a prettier intersection. So I'm gonna go under, and this one's gonna go under again from the right. This one will go, I'm doing sort of a backwards braid. Instead of going over, I'm going under and to the right. Take the top one and go under and to the left. Under and to the right, under and to the left, under, and when you get to the end, pinch it. So go to each side. Now these two sides are gonna be the traditional way. So you go, take the one on the left and go over and center. And this one can go over and center. This one goes over, center. Crossing, crisscrossing over, over and center. Top one goes over and center, over and center until you finish that three strand braid and pinch it at the end. Go to this side, do the same thing. I start on the on what is my left now, 
I go over and into this in between the two. Take this one and go over and in between the two. This one goes over and to the opposite side, over into the center, over into the center, over into the center. A regular three strand braid with all these little ends and pinch. And so this one, I'm gonna to try to do it backwards for you. This one again, I don't wanna go over because I have this big strand that's not gonna have any crisscrosses. So if I go under, it looks prettier. So go take the end and go into the center but under. And take this one and also go under with it. Under and into the center. Under and into the center. Under, center. Under, center. Under, center. Under, center. And pinch them. Okay, so now in order to create our beautiful round hala, we take these and just swivel them around and pinch them underneath that large piece nearby. Swivel it around and pinch it underneath. Swivel it around and pinch it underneath. Swivel it around and pinch it underneath. That looks a little more square, so I'm going to round it up by just kind of pushing everything under and around. You end up losing <laughs> some of that beautiful braiding, but it makes a nice puffy round challah. All that finishing braiding, you don't have to worry about making it perfect because it ends up being mostly underneath anyhow. But here's our beautiful round basket weave hala. You can kind of shape it with your hands the way you want it to look. And there we go. Thank you. See you next time.